Welcome back to our journey around Iceland on the Ring Road. Today, we're leaving Akureyri and heading towards the enchanting Snæfellsnes Peninsula, promising stunning landscapes, fascinating sights, and a few magical surprises. First, we visit the Bujukirka, the black church of the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. This landmark proudly sits against a rugged landscape, offering a striking contrast with its deep black exterior. Next, we'll head to the Foss Hotel, offering comfort and stunning views of the serene fjord landscapes. But first, we need to check out of our hotel, get some coffee, and drive a great distance south. This area of Iceland is one of the most beautiful places we've ever set our eyes on, making it the perfect spot to unwind and reflect on the day's adventures. As night falls, we might be treated to some northern lights. These dancing auroras will paint the sky in mesmerizing hues, providing a magical end to our day. So get your winter hats and puffy coats ready because we're heading into some freezing, windy climates. Let's make the most of every moment and enjoy this unforgettable day. Welcome back to day eight. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos each and every week. Today's drive is the longest single day drive that we've taken on this ring road adventure so far. It's about six hours to the Hotel Helnar with a couple stops in between. Good morning and welcome to day eight of our journey around the ring road. And today we're packing up and we're heading to the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. We're currently in Akureyri. If you watch our other videos, we've made it around the south coast to the east fjords. And then we were caught in a blizzard and it's just locked us down for two days. We're now back on track and we're headed west. Heading down, we're gonna see a farm today. We're gonna to head to the peninsula and check into our whole hotel, the Foss Hotel. Hopefully we'll see some Northern Lights. But this morning, check this out. There's a pool. If you're in Akureyri, just know you can go swimming. It's a heated 24, a 24 hour a day heated pool. Um, actually, I don't know if it's 24 hours. I think it's just heated 24 hours, but it's just steaming was steaming all night and they got like a little kids playground so if you're traveling with kids this would be a great place for you to spend some time in Akureyri. Akureyri. We're actually up on the hill. We walked down the hill yesterday and went and explored the town. Cute little charming town. One thing I didn't know about it is that it's actually like a place that people come for like skiing in the winter. Just behind the hotel on the hill you can see like the the ski lifts and the lights and everything so gotta get packed up find some coffee and hit the road let's do it do want to point out that there is a nice fireplace out front in the lobby and it's really comfortable to sit for coffee or happy hour and then there's a restaurant downstairs that actually has pretty good food um and goes underneath pretty nice setting and uh we just don't have the time to eat I was reading this really cool story here. It says, September 14, 1950, largest aircraft, the Geyser, was flying from Luxembourg to Reykjavik. To make a long story short, it never arrived in Reykjavik at the time it was supposed to. So they carried out a sea, land, air search. The teams almost gave up hope, but they found it on September 18th. It crashed on the Vatnajökull Glacier, which we passed earlier a couple days ago. At the height of 6,000 feet for four days, the glacier was trapped, trapped in the fog. And then they got the people, they saw them, they celebrated, they raised flags and gave out free coffee, which I think is just the greatest thing because I love coffee. I mean, people get saved, free coffee for everyone. <laughs> and that's a picture of them. Pretty awesome. We're now going into the Bla Canen Cafe for some coffee and a croissant. They also have oh, tarts and pies and sweets. Perfect way to start your morning. They have a croissant. Wow. 
quiches. Yeah, they had a little bit for everybody. They had quiches and Hi. apple pies and tarts and brownies and cookies. Really, pretty much anything you'd want for breakfast. Spinach. I also got one of those biscotti right there. grid super beautiful here very icy too there's this monument doesn't say what it is but it looks pretty let's go take a picture of it we're like inside of a freaking snowy valley that's just gorgeous and uh heading our way to the Snifel Smith Peninsula See how pretty? Looking off into the horizon. Not quite sure if this is a monument to the explorers. It says something on the tablet there, but I can't really tell from here. But this is um, just like the side of the road. And uh, looks pretty. Definitely a nice stop. It's, it's this part of the area, this part of Iceland is absolutely stunning. Just have to watch the ice here. This ice is pretty, it's like a block. A block of ice. It's very wild. Some kind of like canyon even right here. It's just so pretty. little update we are on the road to the Snæfellsnes Peninsula and it's quite beautiful but also patches patches of treacherousness so there's some like patches of snow patches of ice and uh, so we are gonna go to our hotel first and ch just check out the roads because you just never know um, it's a beautiful sunny day but there's just a lot of snow on the ground still. A lot of ice and snow. So um, we're heading that way, heading that direction, and we may just explore the area around our hotel and then tomorrow see if it maybe some more melts as uh, the day goes on. Knocked me down, swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. To resist, got me looking like this, like no one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong.
Must dig. Must dig for the grass. Oh, you like real grass. Beautiful. Looking for seals. Imagine if we saw a whale jump out of the water there. It'd be pretty epic. Okay. We've got some. Is this cows? Could it be? Cows! Haven't seen cows all trip. So awesome. Very pretty. Currently driving on Route 1 on the west side of Iceland and it looks like they got a lot more snow than even we saw um, or at least it didn't melt yet because the roads are still pretty covered um, in some areas it's straight just ice and some areas it's nice hard asphalt but it, you can see it's just white for miles so I think they just got blanketed in the snow and uh Still got a good two and a half hours, like two hours, 20 minutes to our hotel. Very pretty, very sunny day. It's good that it's melting some of this ice, which is strange because it's 23 degrees out, but it just must be the cars driving over the asphalt, the road. I don't know. And everything just looks like shiny. Wow, snow is like above the car. Trucks go by, they're like 18 wheelers. No problem, just cruising on by. See the snow drifts in the distance too, they're definitely like 15 feet high. Bright sunny day, no snow, but the roads are covered. Just want to take a minute to just say, if I haven't said it before, that if you're coming to Iceland in the winter or on the edge of winter and spring, make sure you opt for a four-wheel drive vehicle. We went with Ring Car Rental, but you could also go with Blue Car Rental, which are two very highly rated car companies. Now the roads are dry as a bone. Not a problem at all. Would never think that the road up ahead could be completely covered in ice. So if you're coming in March, or probably even April, get yourself a four-wheel drive, it'll save your life. You just saw a car off the road covered by snow, snow drift. Stupid seatbelt, this thing always yells at me. <clears throat> Stopped for a lunch break. Having our favorite sando. Today is turkey, bacon, cheese. Back to the basics. It's good though. Sesame bun. All right, I give my sandwich a 10 out of 10. Also, when we we're at bonus, I picked up this Moke Maestro's Del Cafe Cappuccino, 100% Arabican Arabica. Um, got a whole process involved here. I guess I just open it from the top, down the hatch. Oh, that's really good. Hmm. Yeah. This tastes more like a cold brew with cream than it does a cappuccino. Wow, maybe it's got like an eight out of 10 on that moke cappuccino. It's got a little lid too. Real? All right, it's been about 10 minutes. We went from 20 foot lava, I mean 20 foot snow drifts to mossy covered lava field. I mean, it was 10 minutes ago was my last update. And now the landscape is now looking so much more like a planet, different planet that we've been on. Well, we've got 34 kilometers to the Snæfell Snis Snis Vigar, and uh, then we're gonna be heading down the Snæfell Snis Peninsula, see what we can find. But it looks like a volcano went off here at one point. Very, very, like rugged terrain here. Everything's like dark and black and volcanic. It kind of reminds me of like when we were on the south shore of Iceland, except it's not as green probably because it's like below freezing here. The moss dies over that. There's like driving tracks through it. That's something. All right, lava fields are gone. 
now we have pine trees and like epic mountains ahead I think that might be the highlands but they look like the Himalayas or the Alps or something it's really like rugged mountains and the roads are clear so that's good that's a bonus stopped off the side of the road here and it's a beautiful view of the mountains a little uh, water closet break stopped for a pit stop and uh, use the water closet but the views from this parking lot are exceptional I gave it to you. Driving through a postcard right now. On our way to the Snaefelsnes. It's just epic looking. That's the Highlands. Now we're going that way in a minute. Because I didn't have a lot of time to fly due to the weather, I wanted to put the drone up here because the mountains were so beautiful. So enjoy this mountain dreamscape. Otherworldly moment where you see horses grazing in a lava field. That's not an everyday view. stopped right where we're supposed to take the Snaefelsnes Peninsula and there was just a gorgeous mountain so I sent the drone up and got some pictures and now we're on our way I think the first stop is the Black Church also there's a uh, hot springs down here um, and since there's no snow I don't know if we check it out very pretty around here Wow waterfall down there okay continuing on all right I think we're driving on a lava field now Check out the hot springs next. Log off something. Dur -dur -dur. All right, I think we we journeyed through the lava field, and now we are on a road that looks like um, Mars, and we found some cars. Um, looks like I guess you can go into the hot spring here. Do you? Like, are we gonna get changed and go there or what? Let's ask. Did you guys just come back? Is it worth going to? Oh, so yeah. So they said they're not gonna wait. They said they may wait, but there's people there. You wanna just go and see it? Uh, I mean, let's go yeah. and see it. Let's go see it. All right, we're going to look for the hot springs. They're around here somewhere. And we are gonna find them. It's a sheet of ice. The terrain here is just unbelievable. Just stunning. And uh, we're walking. I think we gotta cross a river here. Wow. This is wild. How do you get across? You go on the rocks? <laughs> what? And you just walk on the rocks? Guess so. <laughs> the decision. <laughs> the 
The decision's been made. We're going across a river with my feet. Oh, it's very windy. That's the hardest part. Wow, this is something. Adventure in the great wide somewhere. What the heck? All right, I made it. You coming? Okay, I think I got it. Looks like there's people inside. We'll say hello to them and then we'll continue on our way. Out of respect for privacy, I did not film the people inside of the springs, but I'll put up a screenshot. It was tiny, maybe the size of a garbage can. And there was like three or four people in there. I gotta tell you, all right, we're going back. What the heck? That was, I would not go in that. It was like the size of a garbage can. There's four people in it. It is so cold, but I don't think I would trek with my bathing suit on through the cold. And then imagine getting out, like you'd need a ro bathrobe or something. Yeah. There's no changing closet. Some of them have a changing closet, yeah. but not this one. That, this is a hole in the ground. It was like maybe two garbage cans. Oh God, I'm freezing. <laughs> All right, so. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Smoke some pot in a little hole in the ground. Oh, I, did not, I didn't say that would be cool. All right, oh, so okay. the hot springs right. was probably like, I don't know, like a fifth of a mile of a walk across a river. And then it was a tiny, tiny hole in the ground. The wind is blowing probably at 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour. And it's like in the twenties. And these people are just living a dream in this hot little spring. It was no bigger than like a pond you'd have in the front of your house or something. It was tiny. I don't know, did I even? Well. Certainly the smallest one ones I've ever seen before. It was cool to see it. Don't think, and it was kind of murky water too. It's like brown, kind of gross. It's like swimming with the fluff mud. I've seen better ones around the country. Okay, we're in God's country now. This is beautiful. So far, so good. Heading to the Black Church. All right, we're on the road. We're almost to the Black Church, Budir Vegar. It's just so beautiful over here. Look at that. Stunning, epic mountains. All right, we are here at the black church I'm not gonna try to say the name and it's quaint beautiful like epic backdrop of this church and uh, it's really just for picture taking but man look at the background of this church it is absolutely stunning the mountains in the background are like unreal when it comes to almost feels fake because it's just such a like a movie set. You know, we've been driving a long time today, but it kind of makes it worth it to come out here and see this church and the sun is setting kind of behind us and the, the mountains are just so friggin' gorgeous. Like, I don't even know, like it's just stunning church. And it, no, it makes sense that you would worship here because it's just so freaking stunning wow this is Budakirka, the black church of the snafelsness peninsula this iconic structure stands proudly against the rugged landscape offering a striking contrast with its deep black exterior Budakirka is more than just a black church it's a symbol of iceland's rich history and resilient spirit 
Originally built in the 1700s, the church we see today is a reconstruction from 1987. Staying true to the original design, its dark black painted timber and minimalistic architecture makes it a unique landmark blending simplicity with profound beauty. This church has witnessed centuries of change, including a testament of the enduring faith and determination of the Icelandic people. The surrounding landscape, with its lava field and distant mountains, enhances the church's mystique, creating a scene that feels almost otherworldly. Inside the Burdjukirka, it's equally modest, with a small altar and a few pews inviting guests to reflect and find peace in its serene ambiance. It's a place where you can truly feel connected to the past and natural beauty that surrounds it. As we take in the view of the Burdjukirka, with its breathtaking scenery, appreciate the tranquility and timeless charm that this special place holds. It's moments like these that remind us why Iceland is such a unique and captivating destination. This may very well be the most beautiful place I've ever visited in my entire life. It is just absolutely stunning. Just when we thought it couldn't get any more beautiful. Just when we thought we had come almost full circle on this Iceland journey. Then we were presented with this mountain range and water. Man, is it a beautiful. So far, sea falseness, we're off to a good start. Such the, the stunning thing is that the church is on this backdrop of the most epic mountain range I have ever seen in my entire life. Just look at that. Oh, and then the sea is right over there. And uh, you can walk, there's a walking path that goes down to the ocean. And it's just stunning. It's stunning, beautiful. Yeah, I really like to uh, film this church, take pictures. We were hanging out a good 25, 30 minutes. There's actually a lot to see here. So now we're gonna head to the hotel. That was very successful. There was plenty of parking. There was a paved road. There was no snow on the road. And we got some really good pictures. And I even got to fly my drone. So now we are headed, sun's kind of setting, and we're headed to the hotel to uh, unload and kind of gather our, gather our thoughts. Because it's been a very long drive today and a uh, little bit of stress on the drive so um, but it seems like the roads are holding up for now there's no storms and there's a high chance that we'll see the northern lights tonight like 70 percent chance that there's a strong storm so fingers crossed the snaefelsnes peninsula is uh has to be the most picturesque location that we've seen on this whole week it is just stunning um, and I don't know if it's just because it's not raining and it's sunny and everything is clear and you can see the peaks but man it is so beautiful this might be the most beautiful spot I've ever stayed in my entire life it is just the most spectacular view. And we're not even out of the car yet. You're gonna drive off the road. <laughs> okay, we're here at the Foss Hotel, Helnar. Most beautiful place, should be called Heavennar instead of Helnar. But yeah, let's go check in. Okay, we just arrived, come in.
right through the door here. We're room 29. We have a shower with actual doors. A lot of these hotels, the weirdest thing about Iceland is that they don't have any shelves for toiletries. So you got to put it on the floor or you got to balance it on there. We got a nice shower, really nice gray tile, sweet looking. They got a shelf here and they got a shelf there, but not there. Totally doable here and two separate beds. Very soft and comfortable, nice gray colors, nice earth tones, really dark woods, very nice flat screen TV. It's like on a, that is so crazy. It's got like little belt loops. Nice desk, place for luggage. And then our view is like this, very pretty. Ocean view. And then the mountains in the background, absolutely beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to get out for the sunrise. So you can see the sunset hitting the mountains over there. Wow. Yeah, I think this will be a nice, there's a nice cushy chair here. Some shelving, nice room for the night. Love Faso Hotel. Got the seafood soup here with mixed seafood and langoustine broth with cream. Cream. Give this a 10 out of 10. It's got like a curry flavor. Tasty, very tasty. I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, I got the cod, the barley, and potatoes, celery, and what did you get? It's like a mushroom wellington. Vegetable wellington. Vegetable wellington for Amy, and I got cod, barley, and then I think this is fennel, which I'm not a huge fan of, but we'll see, maybe it's good. Delicious. Just finished dinner and uh, we are just stepping outside for a minute. See if we can see some Aurora. Dinner was delicious. One of the best meals of the trip. Even Amy gave me a little piece of hers and it was delicious. So good. One thing I noticed about these hotels is they do so much, these people. You have the hostess that's serving cables, delivering food, serving drinks, and uh, you know, doing it all, no problem. And then the front desk is serving drinks and all of that. <laughs> and that's in every hotel, not just this one. They work hard. And maybe there's more people coming, but they, uh, they work pretty hard in general. Just after dinner, on a whim, we walked outside and we saw the Northern Lights. And this is a dream come true, a bucket list in the making. Oh my God, it even comes up on video. This is nuts. The amazing thing is you can see it with a video camera too, not only pictures. It's faint, but you can see it. You can kind of see them right above that. Right there. You can kind of see them. Totally saw Northern Lights tonight. What a dream. What a dream, Aim. Whew. All right. We're out here hunting for Aurora, and we actually got a couple at the hotel, um, but it seems like it's died down a little bit, and I don't really see much right now. There's a little bit like above that mountain but you don't see much really at the moment. And it could take some time, but um, man, it was cool to see him with the naked eye for sure. It's freezing out here too. It's gotta be like 10 degrees out. Got these mountains behind me and the moon is like super bright and that's probably why we can't see them. 
to come back out. Oh, can you see anything? Super, super cold out. These mountains are freaking so even just gorgeous in the nighttime. Never thought I would ever see northern lights in my life. And I saw them tonight. So probably a good idea to just keep dreaming and never give up. We're back here. We're back here at the Black Church, hoping to see some green in the sky. We don't see anything, so we're just gonna have to wait, and maybe they'll show up. It is frigid right now, but it's very invigorating. You can almost see a green glow over here on the right side, but it's pretty pretty spectacular even at nighttime some sneaky behavior going on this is what the church looks like at nighttime it's nice that they have a light going on it and uh, I gotta read up on it let's see what it actually says about this church because it is really cool looking people are just waiting to see if these lights are going to show their face tonight and i'm so glad we went out before right after dinner because they were most powerful then could be all night really i just think that this is uh this is just too much of a dream for me i mean so many things i've done in the last two years have just been so stunningly like magical and here I'm thinking we're here on the west part of Iceland way in the North Atlantic and we're just seeing some really like stunning stunning mountains oh almost broke my ankle mountains Waterfalls, geysers, I mean, it is just, everything is amazing. And it's a dream if I never get back here again. This is a dream. I'm blown away. I feel like I'm in a dream. I feel like I'm in a movie. And this wind is like ridiculous. Back at the hotel, we were not successful in finding more northern lights. That's okay because we got we got the shot before, and it was pretty spectacular. Um, we're gonna try to maybe get ready for bed and look outside one more time. But if nothing else, it's a memory I'll remember forever with Amy and. Um, yeah, it's very special to me. Having said that, I'm gonna go to sleep now. And we'll begin this, continue this tomorrow. What a day it has been. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye dudes.